So what do we call this, grandson? A point. That's right. And do you know what happens if we move a point parallel to itself? Yes. Okay, good. Then show me. Okay. If we move it this way, we make a line. Very good job. What next? Next, we push the line and make a square, like you, Grandpa. Very good. You've got it exactly right. But, Grandpa... Yes? I know you want me to tell you the next part to show you I've been listening, but I don't know the words for it yet. What? What do you mean, the next part? Well, the next part. First, we move a point to make a line. Yes. Then we move that line to make a square. Yes. Well, obviously next you want me to move a square, but I don't know how to describe how it moves or what you would call the shape it makes. So, since you know I know how to do it, can you just tell me what this direction is named and the name of the shape? Grandpa? Go to your room if you're going to talk nonsense. I was trying to teach you a serious lesson in geometry, not make jokes. But I wasn't... Go to your room. But Grandpa... Excuse me. Ah! Who said that? Who's there? I said it. I am here. A circle? Oh my lord, forgive me, I did not... I am not a circle, I am a sphere. Whoa! Wait, you can't just run up to... Hi, I've never met a circle before. You're really big. Give the priest some space. You can't just run at people like that, you could hurt someone. I know you're still getting used to leaving the nursery, but your points are sharp now. You have to be careful. My lord, please forgive my impertinent grandson. He's only been out of the nursery for a week now, and it seems his configuration still needs some time to settle. There's nothing to forgive. He did nothing wrong. Thank you, my lord. You should be the one apologizing to him. I... My lord? Yes, he spoke the truth, and you accused him of playing games. I did? He... did? But, my lord... But nothing! Listen, er, little hexagon, come here. Yes, sir? You are very bright for a LDM, so I will tell you the words you were asking your ignorant grandfather to tell you earlier. LDM? So I was right? The next step is to move a square? Yes. The direction you need to move the square is called up or down. You only exist in two dimensions, so you can't see these directions, but if you try, you can imagine them. The shape created by moving a square either up or down and connecting the points is called a cube. Whoa! What if you move a hexagon up or down? Then you get what we call a hexagonal prism. Do you want me to describe it to you? Yes! This priest has gone mad. I heard that, Square. I already told you I'm not a circle. Now, hush. Huh? Eh. Anyways, a hexagonal prism is... Hmm. What? Well, how about instead of telling you, I show you? Yeah! Excuse me, everyone, I'm entering the study room. Don't be alarmed, it's just me. Hi, Grandma, come meet my friend. Oh, who's this? You didn't tell me we had company, Raymond. Well, I didn't know we did either, dear. He's going to show me what a hexagonal prism looks like. Actually, my pronouns are they, them. Oh, like my sibling. Like who? Oh, he's just being silly, Raymond. You know how kids are. <laughs> well, anyways, who wants to see a higher dimension and expand their minds beyond everything you ever thought you knew? Me! Oh, I'd love to get out of the house for the holiday. Wait, wait, I didn't give permission. Your wife doesn't need your permission to do anything, and she can give permission for your grandson just as much as you can. Yay! Oh, you're so sweet. Let's go. All right, give me a moment to push you off your plane. He's shrinking! 
they, not he. What language are you speaking? I'll tell you when we get back. All right, you two, stand next to each other and don't be alarmed. I'm going to pull you in a new direction. It'll feel weird, but it won't hurt. Come here, Barnaby. Yes, Grandma. Ready? Ready. I didn't agree to any of this. Don't worry, you're not going. Actually, hold on. You look exactly the same from above and below, so let me put some color on your upper side so, you, so I don't put you back upside down. Where did he go? There, that should do it. But you didn't do anything. What happened? Don't worry, I'll remove it when, you, when I bring you back. Remove what? You didn't do anything! What the? You ate them? Jemima! Barnaby! What kind of monster are you? Wee! They're gone! They're gone! They just disappeared into thin air! I've got to report this to... Someone! The end. Or, the beginning of an alternate timeline. Bye!